Okay guys, good night again and let's finish up with our last tool of our current subject. Okay, uh, before entering the answer matrix, I would just like to add some conclusions to your own insights on the SWOT on Grupo Modelo, Bimbo and Walmart. If we define some of the characteristics of this company, we may find the following for sure. Bimbo is certainly a very strong competitor in Mexico. Okay, they have a lot of positive aspects. A high, highly powerful logistic network, a very diverse array of products, but they are facing a very serious threat and they should be aware of this. We know that in Mexico, unfortunately, the country has the very first place in children obesity in the world. And Bimbo core product is bread, bakery, okay? So uh, just as the government is seeking for new conditions for students in order to eat more healthy food, Bimbo should be concerned on how they can reformulate their products in order to remain not only competitive, but connected to the current needs of the market. If we move to Grupo Walmart, I would like to add as a certain uh, strength of the company, not only the variety that you can find in stores, but also the complement that they created with Banco Walmart. Okay, this is a way to lock in customers, as we will talk in a moment with the answer of Matrix. Why? Because each customer that goes to Walmart and pays with a credit card, if the credit card is not from Banco Walmart, they are putting the cash somewhere else. And if Banco Walmart can capitalize in this particular factor, that becomes a strength. Okay? Now, turning to a single conclusion on Grupo Modelo. Let us remember that the most famous beer from Mexico is Corona, which is sold all around the world. Grupo Modelo now has a very particular strength. Once they were acquired by this international company called Anheuser Busch, the company strikes for a larger destination. Okay, they do not only rely on Corona anymore. They can certainly make alliances in order to reach faraway markets thanks to this merger. So, although Grupo Modelo is no longer a Mexican company regarding ownership, they certainly remain committed to these Mexican brands to become known worldwide. And it could certainly be helpful for the country as well. Okay, so, hope that you have your own and rich conclusions about these three companies and let us enter Ansel Matrix, okay? This is one particular way in which managers and experts in marketing help to determine what would be the suitable strategies of a company based on two particular variables. First, what kind of market are we looking at? If we are looking at our current market and we aim to work within those boundaries, or we are aiming for a new market, new types of customers, new segments, new needs to satisfy. The second important variable would be the array of products that we want to deploy in these markets. We may try to diversify to new offers of services or we may stay within our current portfolio. And if we combine, as you will see in your presentation, these particular access of variables, we will come to four main strategies for any kind of company. And I would like to comment each one of you, if each one of them with you briefly. Let us start when uh, you talk about product development cases. In this, in this particular example, we are talking about your current market, your existing market, and you are adding a new product, a new line of service to your company. And I have put in the presentation two examples that call my attention. First one is McDonald's. Why am I putting McDonald's there? Because McDonald's just opened some years ago a very different line of business within the food segment. They opened McCafe, okay? And as you may be aware, if you have passed through McDonald's, they even adapted areas separate from the fast food 
in order to promote and to give a differentiated service to consolidate the coffee production and the coffee strategy. Okay? Now, why is McDonald's, if we just translate here to Mexico, why are they so interested in coffee? Let us see two facts. First, Mexico is right now a low consumption coffee country. Okay? Compared to Colombia or to Brazil, we are about 2.5, 3 kilos of coffee consumption per people per year. Okay? While these countries are above 10 kilos per, pe per person per year. Okay? And McDonald's is seeing that the coffee consumption is growing steadily. They have a lot of competitors. Cielito Querido, Punta del Cielo, even Oxo, not to mention Starbucks naturally. So, what does McDonald's want to do? They want to remain within the sector of, co of food, particularly fast food, but they want to offer something more classy, something more fancy to their current customers, and they want to give a compliment in order to do what? To make them stay longer with the company. Did you follow me? I hope you do. And now let me recall our second example. I was talking about Banco Walmart. Okay? And in Banco Walmart, you cannot just use a credit card. You may create your own savings account, you may even invest money if you ever go and look for the services that this particular bank offers in every single Walmart store in the country. Okay? Naturally speaking, that works for the company. They work with the cash of the customers and they keep them flowing between the boundaries of the group. Okay? And as you may recall, Walmart is an industrial group that comprises Sam's Club, Aurrera, uh, I don't know, a a any other company, Suburbia, just to mention a few, that helps also to build a coverage point of sales and naturally creates another way to increase loyalty of customers. Now, if we move to the second kind of strategy, something called market development, is when you have your own basic product, your existing product, and you just want to add a little bit up or a little bit down some features in order to appeal to different segments of the market. Let me explain for a moment with the example of our presentation. Marriott is a very well-known brand in auto industry. And Marriott is known for being a standard five-class hotel with very reliable services, quality standards. But Marriott is not satisfied just to be there. If you ever go to Cancun or to other leisure destinations, you may see that Marriott has another brand which is more luxurious, which has more services, and it's called GW Marriott. We may even find an example of this brand in uh, Mexico City, in, Ref in Reforma. What is the difference within these two brands? They keep the prestige of Marriott, but in GW Marriott you will pay more because you will have added services within the core of the hotel product, okay? You will pay for more status, you will pay for a better room, but it remains a hotel. You are not making a new product, okay? Now let's go to the down tier of the market. Marriott also saw an opportunity with uh, executives, with business people that travel a lot and they want an affordable accommodation in the cities or close to the airports. They created something called Corridor Marriott, which happens to be a four stars hotel, okay? It remains the status of Marriott brand, but with more basic features, perhaps not fancy restaurants, not a very luxurious room, but something very clean, very functional, and they give you complimentary service that you as a travel executive appreciate. Did you follow me? Now, a second example, and then we will move to the very last part of our session. In market development cases, airline industry is creating products within the main product. If you travel in an European or an Asian carrier, you are usually fond to see first class and tourist class or coach. Okay? First class are the customers paying a lot of money 
for a lot of service. But if you travel now, you will see that there is not only coach and first class. There is business class, just below first class, lots of perks, lots of benefits, but not the price. That's an advantage. And airlines recently discovered that there are travelers willing to pay a little bit more than coach, but they don't, do not want to reach business class levels. So they created something called economy premium. More space within the seats, more baggage allowance, but nevertheless it's just a seat in the plane with a little bit more of this and a little bit less on that. Okay? So I guess we're getting clear with uh, these two particular strategies of Amazon Matrix. I will leave the last two for the remaining clip and then we will proceed to close our session. Okay? So stay tuned and I'll see you in a bit. Thank you.